Hello artist, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. We are very happy you are here with us today. So this was my practice for today's build a doodle. And basically what I did is I just went through and played with some line work again, loosened up my hand, just started to do some basic shapes. That's all we're doing staying very very basic today and then next uh, over the next few days we do start to get a little bit more intricate with our drawing but I just want you to get comfortable with the fact that that is a swirl that is a mm, half a circle thingy with a little stem all right take it down to its basic forms do not get stressed about this do not get overwhelmed with it okay I know that some of you are definitely taking more than the 10 minutes to do the doodles, and I think that's great. Um, I think that um, the more that you practice and play and sketch, that's incredible. And then there's uh, those of you that don't have time, and that's why we are just doing this every single day, a little bit each and every day. You can always go back through and add to your doodles, and, and you know these are your drawings. They're your drawings, so do with them what you like to do. Um, I don't have the time really to go back through and to refine everything, and um, I'm trying to keep it at a 10 minute uh, point for all of us, just so that you can get the idea of what we're doing. I am not making masterpieces. I am just doing quick sketches. This is just playtime. Next week, we will be building into, um, we are doing four build, I'm sorry, five build a doodles next week. So this is um, a full week of sketching. And then next week we'll do um, a build a day. I know I'm kind of switching things up a little bit, but I wanted to give flowers a little bit more attention. And um, I think the little pieces of art that we make after learning how to sketch and doodle i think it's pretty cool and i hope that you enjoy it so please let me know what you think in the comments um, i do read every single one of them and i love to get them and uh, please subscribe if you haven't please um, you know we have patreon and we're doing some great projects over there so all right guys i hope you have a great day and uh, enjoy the video we'll chat soon Hello artists. Okay, well, here's where we left off last week. Um, you know, it was just kind of fun, very loose. I wanted you to really get into the movement of freedom, um, playing and expression and just letting your hands um, get into the practice of making marks. Um, so this week, what we're gonna look at is more flower shapes um, and leaves. And the reason why I'm doing flowers next is because I think it's a good building block and who doesn't love to paint a flower um, or draw a flower? So they're fairly simple and we really want to start out with the most simple ones that we can. That is my goal. In fact, let's just kind of start by doing a quick warm up here. I'm grabbing my favorite Signo um, Uniball 207. It's my favorite pen to work with. Excuse me there, I just like, oh, a cup of tea. So I'm just gonna kind of um, play for a second here and loosen up my hand. And oh, this one, oh, that one's out of ink. Oh my gosh, another one that bites the dust. These are not the cheapest pens in the world. In fact, they are. That one's almost empty, too. Uh, they are a little bit more expensive as far as gel pens go. But I really do like how they make marks. Um, they're very smooth, very friendly. I love writing with them. So I'm just loosening up my hand a little and just kind of starting just by doing some basic doodles. Let's just do something simple here. Just kind of going off of a couple of these little shapes. 
Just getting back into practice. Little amoebas. Amoebas are good. Right? Aren't they? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to do like this quick line here. One's nice. just really just kind of does a repetition, doesn't it? Just kind of not a whole lot of rhyme or reason here. Feeling a little bit looser. Got that page kind of knocked out there. What I want to do next is um, look at this simple shape. And truly, all it is, is that. It's kind of a half a circle, half an oval. We're just taking one of them. And then they've got little dots up there. They actually did those lighter, which is fine. You know, vary your mark sizes. And then she kind of did a little sketchy thing here around there. And then we'll give it a little stem. And we'll let it be. It's a very fun little flower. Let's do one more of those. I like these guys. It's a, it's a very simple shape. Try to keep it free, try to keep it open. Try to improve upon what they've got. Let's do another one of those. I like those. Uh, you can even do a little ovally circly thing. Right? We're doing very simple shapes. We're not even going to eat that. Um, let's actually just kind of go with some more simples here. It doesn't have to be anything. Right? We're not at that point where we have to make it be something. That will come at the end of the week, all right? Um, and let's see, though, if we can make that into something. What if we do something like that? What happens? That's kind of a cool little flower. What if we do something concentric? Here I know I just said that we weren't going to do anything like that. And then I just kind of did it. What I'm doing though is I'm keeping it very loose. Think about a flower. Practicing. Right. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can find some more simpler shapes. Now these are very simple, but they're a little bit more time consuming. Um, we're just going to do simple marks radiating out from the center. That's it. That's it. Now we can put a border around that if we wanted to. Kind of cool. Make that darker. What if we made little small ones? I'm not thinking about it, I'm just sketching. And that's what you're doing, guys. It's not just doodling, you're sketching doing art. Ha ha. Love it. 
I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about making anything perfect here. All right, let's go into this little rosy shape here. I like how they did that little thingy there. Did you see that? <laughs> where are we at here we're at eight minutes almost nine minutes i do like this little guy too i think this little black eyed susan is super cute all right so we make a center circle and then we just kind of do our little swirlies coming off of it in the back we just do little one to the side. Cool thing about Black Eyed Susans is they have a little bit more of a pointier, that's more of a daisy shape, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be anything right at this point, right? Right? We're taking it easy. We're being mellow. What if we did one a little bit smaller here? That one went its own way. It's all right. Not worried about it. Now, I kind of like these little guys here too. And that's combining our line. Right? So what happens if we have a darker one here and then we come in with our white paint pen? All right, the white is not working on this rough as well. So this is where um, the pen can start to skip if it's on that rougher paper. Still pretty cool, but that's what's happening. Or, nope, it's not out of ink. There's plenty of ink in there. See, is it better on this side? It is a little bit better on this side. So let's, uh, I think I've got probably a couple seconds left. Maybe we'll just stop right there for today. That's actually probably a really good space to stop. So just keep it loose. Have fun with it. Don't get stressed. Just make your little shapes. And they don't have to be inside the circles. Just go around, make your shapes. If you want to doodle more, then go ahead and put some fun border in. Um, put in a border that has a little shape to it. Giving it a little flower shape right there, huh? Think about the basic shape of a flower. You've got your stem, you're gonna have a leaf, and that's all you have to do for the leaf, guys. You don't have to get fixated on it. And then a little flower. All right. Little grass down below. This is just squiggly lines.
This pen's out too. Look, it just ran out of ink. Oh, that's so sad. I hope I have more. Might be my last one. Dang it. That's a good idea too. I mean, guys, just do your squiggles. Don't get hung up. We're just, nothing is working on this paper. <laughs> All right, so you get the basic uh, idea here. Uh, you know, they generally have some sort of center. Make your lines from your center. Okay, well, let me know what you think down in the comments, guys. Um, I had a lot of fun just doodling, just playing. So just work on the basic, uh, you know, that little rose shape is pretty simple. This little guy is super simple. Um, and work on some petals. Just play with it. This is your practice. This is not, this is practice. Okay? All right, guys. Well, I hope you had a great time, and we will chat soon.